Um, so yeah, that's, that's the driver. Energy transition is inevitable. And this is our collective efforts to make sure that we really embrace the energy transition. The promise of a better tomorrow for Namibia's children, especially those in the, in the smaller communities which are less privileged than the central part. The Wednesday edition of the nation's most revered breakfast show, Good Morning Namibia. Now, Namibia is playing host to the inaugural Global Hydrogen Summit. And this event is themed from ambition to action, fueling Africa's green industrialization revolution. The dynamic three-day summit will convene heads of state, ministers, business and thought leaders, project developers, investors, technologists and end users from across the African continent and the globe for partnerships and critical investments and financing into bankable green energy projects of strategic and national as well as international importance. We delight to now be joined by Madam Tony Biekes, Head of Environment, Environment, Social and Governance at Hyphen Hydrogen Energy. Good morning, Madam, and welcome to Good Morning Namibia. Good morning, Denver. How are Thank you doing you this me. gift of a Wednesday? <laughs> Wonderful, very excited. Yeah. yeah, what a time to be alive, what a time to be a Namibian. Absolutely, absolutely. Why is this of such significance to you, both personally and professionally? Oh, I think today in Namibia, with all of the work that our government has done, Namibia cements her leadership role and her role as a front runner hmm. in this race for green hydrogen in developing a sector. So. Um, the government have done since 2021, as you know, incredible work in terms of establishing a green hydrogen strategy, uh, putting together uh, a governance structure for how that can be implemented. And then, of course, ran this international tender where Hyphen was awarded uh, a project to implement. And it's one of the biggest in the world today. So it's it's incredible opportunity for all of the investors, the players to come together. And of course, if we combine that with the incredible work that the government has done in terms of just green diplomacy, to foster strategic partners with uh, the likes of the EU, key governments, uh, Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium, and so on. Today, Namibia brings together those key strategic partners. And although a lot of work has been done, a lot still needs to, to, to happen to really mm. enable this sector, but also for the continent. So these, these key, um, uh, key partners together with, with, with our continental partners, potential partners. Um, I think it, it'll be an exciting two days as we explore um, how to co-create this new future. Mm. Yeah. Apart from it being a culmination of the hard work, would you also say it's a recognition by global thought leaders and industry players of Namibia's work? Absolutely. Um, we are not the new kid on the block when it comes to this. Absolutely not. Um, I think today, and you'll see over the, if we look at the, the, the program, over the next couple of days we'll be talking, for instance, about what sort of policy and regulatory frameworks do governments need to consider in establishing a competitive green hydrogen sector. And Namibia has begun to do that work. So mm. they get to learn from uh, Namibia's approach. Government have um, had the foresight to implement pilot projects that begin to investigate a future downstream market for green hydrogen in country. It's an opportunity to take lessons from those pilot projects. What has worked, what hasn't worked. I right? think you're addressing the heart of the matter. Yeah. Many may not know what the purpose of a pilot is, and it's also to simulate, to simulate the future. Exactly. Is that yes. not the purpose of a pilot? Absolutely. To test it with a minimal, because those are not commercial projects. Um, they have uh, minimal risk. Um, they have they operated on ground funding. And so it's really to test the feasibility, and if that proves feasible, to upscale it. And so so it's this, it's this dual approach where you have a gigawatt scale project like Hyphen that's intended to demonstrate to the world that Namibia can do large scale green hydrogen production for export, mm. but simultaneously uh, having these pilot projects to, to investigate that future downstream market uh, for Namibia. As yeah, much as it is a simulation, it's no less real. No less real, absolutely. Yeah. So lots of lessons to be taken, taken from that. Speaking about taking lessons, what do, we, what do you hope we as a country can draw from, from the summit in terms of lessons? We are not the, the new kid on the block, yeah. and we're not the only kid on the block, yeah. as a matter of fact, but what is it that you believe and hope we can learn? 
Yeah. There is, there is um, I think government yesterday, they launched the Green Industrialization Strategy and Roadmap. And that aligns with the broader ambition to really establish a regional market. So outside of local market, outside of the exports, it's, it's establishing a regional market. And I think we need to figure out as African, as the continent of regional uh, uh, cooperation, what does a policy, a regional policy framework look like? What sort of infrastructure needs to be enabled to do that? Um, where does the funding come from? So that needs to be figured out, right? Closer to home, and we understand that um, local content, localizing becomes so, so important um, for a just energy transition, right? Because it's not just about um, exporting our product to help those importing countries decarbonize and achieve their own decarbonization targets, but it's also about creating a system where the countries that are exporting really, really um, promote uh, economic and social equity. But how we do that is really, really challenging. So we need to think through where we have a relatively low skill base, and we have a relatively low industrial base, mm -hmm. which is not just f a case for Namibia, but a lot of the African countries that are here. How do we collectively figure out how you achieve um, that localization considering those realities. Mm. What would it ideally look like, that economic and social equity? It's no walk in the park and it's certainly not a solo project, right? It's not a hyphen project. No. It's a collective effort yeah. on the part of Namibia, but also on the part of the continent, certainly. Yeah. yeah. I think for projects like ours, there is what we call the first move at disadvantage. Um, there is certainly the belief and the commitment to localize, but we have to do it in ways that make sense. Right, and so it's 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 following a a a, a almost a dual approach where you say what can we do most immediately, but how at the same time in achieving the immediate uh, objective. So if we say we're going to train, we need to train five um, engineers. Well, we can actually only afford to train three because only three are available. Mm. But how do we spend the money in a way that begins to build the ecosystem for training? So it's having this, this, this approach where we're trying, we have to find um, what is achievable most immediately, but working collaboratively with government, working collaboratively in that context with educational institutions. It's asking these strategic partners that are here, what sort of support and grant funding can we get from you to enable this? So, so it's a challenging one, but it's about being realistic and it's about saying that we're not going to put the cart before the horse. If we talk sustainable development, we have to do it systematically. Mm. It's exactly seven months since Sunday, 4 February 2024. Perhaps it's a coincidence, perhaps it's not, since Dr. Hage Jikengo passed away. And his mission for this country was the economic emancipation of Namibia, and Namibia and her people. If we're talking economic transformation, if we're talking uh, e economic independence for our people, what role could the Hyphen Hydrogen Energy Project play in helping us accomplish that critically important, almost mm. non-negotiable goal? Yeah. You know, it's important, it, it's, it's, it's important when we talk about the value of these projects could potentially bring. They have an enormous transformative potential. And that comes in Firstly, how our government will negotiate, and, and in the hyphen case, have negotiated the fiscal, fiscal contributions um, that the project will make to the country. Um, and so there are direct revenue streams that emanate from it. Um, so in our case, we have a host of, of items that comprise that fiscal contribution. Um, environmental levy, we have land rentals for the concession area that's been allocated to us, uh, we have the normal taxes um, that, that, that corporations will, are subject to, but we also have negotiated a royalty, a 5% royalty never seen before levelled against wind and sun. Um, and we have of course um, the dividend that will be paid to the government because of the equity that it holds. So that's, that's, that's important. And if you look at 
um, what Namibia earns from the hyphen project, the calculations are that it takes over 50% of the proceeds. So that, that is really important. So it's the fiscal regime that, that, that Namibia as a government negotiates with projects like ours. Mm. Um, and the impact that that has um, on the economy will be enormous. And of course, we know that Namibia has established a sovereign wealth fund. And so how it manages those revenue streams, not just for today, but also for future generations, is going to be really, really critical in, in ultimately achieving um, that economic transformation that we seek. Um, you earlier said that we need to be cautious and we need to be realistic. Um, just very briefly, Mr. Graham Hoppert from the Institute for Public Policy Research on Monday evening during Talk of the Nation, also focusing on green hydrogen, said that we should guard against a hype for talking about an industry ultimately creating 250,000 jobs in the future. Yeah. Perhaps it, it could be unsettling for an unemployed Namibian, someone who's unemployed today. Yeah. As far as hyphen, hydrogen energy is concerned, about 15,000 jobs yeah. as far as con the construction um, phase is concerned. Briefly touch on that and those figures and how important it is to remain realistic. So the, the 15,000 was an estimate that we had come up with um, at the bid stage. So it is an enormous project and what we did was use industry metrics to determine roughly the number of uh, people that we were needed to first construct the project and then implement the project. We're now going through a detailed analysis of basically taking the entire um, value chain of the hyphen project, so starting with desalination, the pipelines, um, the wind component, solar component, etc., etc., unpacking that entire value chain and asking for every component, how many people do we need? Um, what type of jobs are those that we need? What skill and competency level do they need to be at? And at mm. what point, either in the construction operational phase, do we need to place them? And that will verify basically that 15,000 number. So it could be more, it could be less, depending on the final uh, configuration of the project. And the same approach will follow for the, for the operations phase. Before we let you go this morning, any final thoughts that you'd like to leave Namibia with? Um, I just want to say this is an incredible opportunity that we have. Um, I would encourage people who are not yet involved, follow the projects, follow Hyphen, follow the pilots. Um, there are many opportunities that will come up from skills development perspective, uh, employment. Um, so come out and see us on the road shows. Um, stay tuned and, and stay part of the conversation. Is the future green? Absolutely. <laughs> thank you for your time and thank you for sharing your expertise this morning, madam. Thank you very much. That was Madam Tony Biekes, Head of Environment, Social and Governance at Hyphen Hydrogen Energy, talking to us about their project, talking to us about the future, talking to us about the significance of Namibia playing host to the inaugural Global African Hydrogen Summit. And that is, as far as Good Morning Namibia is concerned, from the summit, we're crossing back to Studio 2.